Learning techniques on the guitar is often much more interesting if you do it with the help of songs. So today it's five really easy songs that teach you some essential techniques on the guitar. Hello and welcome to another video with me, Elmo J. Karelad, and it's good to have you along. Today, like I said, five very simple songs to teach you some essential techniques on guitar. Before I get going, these are not necessarily the only techniques these songs teach. I will pick up certain things that will be helpful for you if you're a beginner. The first one, dead simple, will teach you a few different things. First off, just tab, reading tab on one string. If you don't know how to read tab at all and you don't know what's on the screen, there are videos on how to read tab on YouTube, tons of them. Really good ones. But real quick, basically zero is an open string. Two means that you fret the note here. Uh, between these two on the second fret, the, between these two actual fret wires. Except you don't fret it like this, you fret it like that. And then you have three, four, five, and so on. Uh, so, the song is this one. Now you can play this with a pick like I did or you can play it with your fingers. Either way is fine. If you're using a pick, see to it that you're holding it in such a manner that you don't drop it. Basically, real quick, for me it's like that and like that roughly and then I hold the pick like that. You don't need to have a lot of the pick sticking out. Uh, but the thing that for me is Number one here is that you learn where to press the string. If you press the string too close to the previous fret wire, so if you're on the second fret, uh, you're, you're wanting to be pretty close to the second fret wire. If you're too close to the first one, you get this. Now this is even more pronounced on an acoustic guitar. So if you're playing acoustic, it's really good. The second thing is, I'm holding my thumb almost at an equal angle to the fret wires. A lot of the kids that I teach hold the thumb like this, uh, like to the side, and then they wonder why they can't reach anything. It's impossible to reach anything that way. So hold the thumb, you have to experiment. It slightly depends on your guitar and your hand and all that, but basically, like I showed you, something like that will greatly improve uh, your reach. That's not to say that you will automatically be able to place your fingers on the second, third, fourth and fifth frets at the same time. If you can, great. Also, you don't want to have your thumb over the neck while playing on the lowest E string. That's a great thing. Other great things that you can practice on, you can play all down strokes if you want. So uh, down, 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 down. But later on you can start working on down, up, down. So alternate picking, down, up, down, up, down, up. And the song is called Peter Gunn theme and there's a video of it on YouTube, the Blues Brothers version, where you can play along to the actual song in this key and because it just loops that one thing, it's a great exercise for rhythm. So you really lock into the rhythm and you think about how can you reach all those notes. If you want to, you just take it one thing at a time, which is what I recommend. If you want to work on your rhythm, you just do one finger maybe. Or two. Work on one thing at a time. If it's down, up, down, up, work on that. Um, and that's basically it. It's really simple. This is the song that I always start with for beginners. So the next one is this. You 
can't touch this. Or, if MC Hammer was McHammer from Scotland, it, was, it would be, you can't touch this. <laughs> what a stupid, stupid joke. <laughs> yeah, but here you get some of the things that you had with Peter Gunn theme. This is, uh, again, in the same key as MC Hammer's version, McHammer's version. Uh, so you can play along to it. I'll put a link in the description for both songs. But now you're working on different strings. You can play all down strokes if you want to. It has breaks to work on those, rhythm. You can work on actually muting. So experiment with where you have your hand. I would recommend that you kind of anchor your hand on the bridge. Because that gives you uh, a, ref a point of reference for where you are. It will be difficult at first, but it will help you greatly when you don't have time to really look too much and play what... Whatever, something like that. So, one more time. Make sure that you have the mutes and the breaks working because if you don't mute anything it will just be like... And that's not good. And it doesn't have any breaks. It's supposed to have breaks. So my right hand mutes and my left hand mutes. Next one is Sunshine of Your Love by Cream. And here we're starting to get into chord territory. Has breaks as well. Now what I would go for here is not actually this. I would go for power chords instead of these horrible bar chords. So you can instead of playing an A bar chord, you can just take the two lowest notes and play that. And then, then it's C. And if you do that, you play along to the song, it'll be just fine. It won't be the same as... Alternately, you can play those as open chords. You can also play the power chords here. But I'd start with... And the thing here is to mute these strings with this uh, finger and this finger. So that you don't have to play and look at what you're hitting. Just these four strings, E, B, G and D. You just mute them, so they, they just sound like... You won't notice that when you play... So you press down the two notes and rest the pinky and the index finger lightly on the other strings and then, voila, you can just... Same type of thing as in. Yeah, song for another video.
and by all means work on. Next up we have this. Just that, to start with. You slide up from 3 to 5 and you let the E string ring and that's not really the important thing. The important thing is the rhythm. So it's not. It's And then you get the actual song. And you can play that just And it changes positions, but just for the rhythm practice, I would just go Simplify it a bit. Stereo Vaughan tuned his guitar down half a step, so I'm assuming everything, every version of his will be tuned down a half step, so difficult to play along with. And what I'm doing when I'm doing this upstroke is again I'm muting. If it's too much, Do that. Concentrate on one thing at a time. You can even just do muted notes. To get that shuffle rhythm because you want that shuffle rhythm separate from your... Some people can't even hear the difference at first. Next one. Last one. This has two different things, actually. One which becomes a bit more advanced. It's this one. <clears throat> First thing, you get the C power chord, three and five. And now again, you mute the higher strings but you also mute the low E string. And the way I do this is uh, sometimes I use my uh, middle finger as well, but my index finger, my pointy pointy finger, I just rest that lightly on the E string. So you get that. And here you have to move this about fairly quickly. So you lift the fingers, every, not all the way, but part of the way, so they rest on the strings and then you slide them over here to one and three and back to three and five. And then you get a string change. You go from uh, the A and D string to the E and A string. And notice here when I said earlier that you have, you can have your hand on the bridge, anchor that there, now I'm not doing that. Actually, I didn't do it with uh, the two previous ones either, because I'm playing, more, I'm playing more of a chord thing. But for the last thing from this song, because it starts with this, I'm again anchoring here. And you can play this so that it's totally unmuted. And with no accent. An accent is something that you emphasize, so... I play it slightly louder, uh, play certain notes slightly louder. If you just play everything equally loud, it just sounds like... It has a bit more drive when you do. 
and then I mute because otherwise it's just and it's a great way to start uh, alternate picking a bit faster because it is semi-fast and this has to do with one of my favorite tips uh, when learning guitar of all time separate the problems and I've mentioned it earlier if you're wanting to learn something a bit more complicated let's say just just do one exercise which is there are a number of things going on here you have these four fingers doing things and you're moving the four note pattern from string to string with the right hand and with the left hand and if you're having trouble picking down up down up down up why not just start with the intro to Eye of the Tiger because you can play along to the song and you can slow it down on YouTube you can play it along to the song because the chords go like play rising up back on the street <coughs> and that's really it you anchor your hand here and it's not like Ingve Malmsteen speed this and that's it there are of course other alternatives to these Lose Yourself by Eminem is a great one to just learn power chords. If you have any guitar related questions, please leave them in the comments because I'm planning on making an entire beginner guitar course and at least one video will be answering questions. So leave any questions you might have or if you're not a beginner and you remember struggling with something leave that in the comments now a lot of beginner guitar players end up failing at guitar and that's a shame and if you want to avoid that fate there's a video here talking about how you can do just that avoid failure that is not fail and please consider supporting the channel via one of the links in the description there's patreon there's Bandcamp, there's affiliate links, but above all, I hope you have a nice day and I hope you enjoyed this video and had some use of it. See you, take care, bye.